Using a firewall is the first step to protecting your site. But aside from that, we're also going to need something to avoid fake signups, account takeovers, avoiding the fraudulent transactions, and all this will be done with SenseFRX, which is currently right now on a lifetime deal on AppSumo. So let's go check it out to show you how it works. Okay, so I'm currently located in the SenseFRX website. And first of all, I want to tell you that SenseFRX is a secondary measure to a firewall. Now, it can do a few things that a firewall can't, but then it's going to do really specific things for preventing fraudulent signups. All right. So that's the main point of SenseFRX. Now, you can install this on mobile applications like Android and iOS and also on your website. In this case, they do have a WordPress plugin that's meant to be used with WooCommerce, but you can use this on any website or application. OK, so in this case, I've already installed this on a WordPress site and I've already used SenseFRX. And I'm going to show you an overview of how it's going to work and how it's going to prevent fake signups. So the first thing you need to know is that when they try to sign up, you will have a score of it being fraudulent or non fraudulent. So you can analyze this later on or set filters to not let these people in. OK, so let me give you a quick example. So in this case, there is one transaction, which is me signing up and I got a score of 60. The reason for this is because I first tried to log in with a fake name and I'm also using an ad blocker. So it knows I'm not allowing cookies and it knows I'm not doing a lot of things that are going to hide what I can do. All right. So in this case, let me show you the activity for this one. So you got all this information from one single user that just logged in, which is me. All right. So you got a lot of information so you can take your decision to report as false positive or block this uh, user so they can't log in. Now, these measures can be modified if you can be more, you want to be more flexible or not. So in this case, I'm going to go into policy management and there's the default policies, which is the ones that I'm going to show you first, because they're going to let you know what kind of activities they can detect so you can see if they're fraudulent or not. So it's a fake sign up. So in this case, an abnormal email syntax that will give it a score value of one. So each one of the things that it's going to detect, it's going to give it a score value. Why? Because later on, you'll be able to use filters to decide if you want to block them or not. So if they got a score over 80, 70 or 90, whatever, you're practically good to go to block that person. All right. So there's several of these options that we can enable or disable depending how strict we want to be or not. So you got, for example, uh, abnormal registration rate. So if they start registration a lot, well, that's going to give them a score. You can change these scores if you want to really target these kind of people uh, signing up, right? Um, abnormal transaction stats, account sharing detection, credential sharing. So if you have a SaaS, this is fantastic because maybe you want to detect people from not sharing the account. Okay. So you give them a score, the bot attack, different shipping and billing address. So those things will kind of pop up and give the, a, a little radar to tell you, hey, you know what? This could be fraudulent. It could, there could be a, a transaction here that you shouldn't be allowing. So if they're using two billion address. We give them a, a 10 score in this case. If they disabled cookies, they got a one score. This a disposable email, a 100. So if that's something that you're looking for, boom, you just got them off right off there. OK, and there's a bunch of these rules that are pre-built inside of here to just have you kick in really quickly this auto automation. So if you want to install this right now on your on your site, it's going to do all this for you and start providing you the analytics that you're going to need to decide if you want to block these people, allow them to make a transaction or not. So in this sense, for example, in this page, we got a quick overview. For example, you got your logs, the new accounts, the active users, which is me right now inside of this demo site, notable events, suspicious devices, which I'm one of them and high risk users, which is me. Why? Because I did a few things there that will alert this to give me that score. So it's a 60 per 60 score. That might not be so bad, depending on how you set up your parameters, but you got your login attempts. So I got five fell login attempts and one successful. So that's me uh, messing with this program. So you understand how it works, right? You got your transactions via web, all the analytics for this. You got your transactions for the new accounts, account security. So you're going to be able to view your account security analytics. So in this case, for total logins, denied logins, challenge logins and allow logins. And we're able to view this, for example, top five threads by OS. In this case, I'm using Mac OS, which is me, the IP. I'm not going to show it there and where I'm located currently. Okay. 
And then we got a user list. So in this case, that's me right there. And there's the IP anyways, but you get the idea, all right? Uh, the bots in this case, no bots have been going through the site right now since I've just installed this, but you'll be, a be able to view everything right here. There's a policy engine, which is what I showed you, but in the web. So you can go ahead and make changes on the website or inside WordPress. But if you don't have a WordPress site and you're installing this on an application, then you want to manage this inside of the dashboard. Okay. So we're able to change the, the default policies. We can create custom policies if we're on the paid plan or on the lifetime deal in this case, advanced policies, blacklist and whitelist. So if you want to blacklist people, you got options. You could do it by user ID, user email, username, or IP address. So maybe you want to add a bunch of usernames that you know that are fraudulent. Go ahead and import them right here, right? And email notifications where you want to get notified for all of this, right? Then you got reports that you can have right here once you got you got it kicked in. And then you got the settings. You got your property settings, the platform, the tracking code, the API keys, the SDK if you want to install this on an application. There's even webhooks and delete property if you don't want to use it anymore. So a lot of options available right here. So definitely if you want to prevent fraudulent signups and getting a, a bunch of these fake transactions because you don't want to get blocked by Stripe or PayPal because you're going to get a bunch of transactions with these fake profiles. So definitely a great option to prevent it, right? So don't forget that, that right now this is currently on a lifetime deal and that link will be provided in the description. So definitely take advantage of the lifetime deal so you can get this on your website or your apps right away. So that is Sense FRX LTD and that's a wrap.